free information technology training will be available for some 20 youths between 17 and 32 years old who are living in Region 3 after several local technology entrepreneurs decided to join forces and give back to communities across Guyana. Carl Handy, one of the software engineers involved in the project, told the newsroom that the objective is to get people certified so they can capitalize on jobs in the IT sector. We realize that um, there's a lack and there's a need. So even in our own individual businesses, um, we realize it's very hard to get the, the, um, the skilled personnel that we need. So when, they, when, when we hire people, we still have to train them and stuff. So this is one way of us, um, of us to get a good set of um, employees to work for us and potentially other companies as well. As it is, there aren't many persons to develop websites and program for the level of work needed in the new sectors such as oil and gas. Already, the government of Guyana, with the help of the United Arab Emirates, will train 150,000 persons to do coding. The software engineer said the company is following suit and has already trained 93 persons in computer repairs and networking. Persons from Region 10 have benefited from programs since 2018. All persons selected are those keen on learning and willing to also give back to their communities. We select persons who are more interested in IT um, because you need to have that drive because it's a very it's not an easy, people might think IT is an easy field depending on which field you're getting into, but you need to have that drive. So we select people who we feel have that drive and who we think would give back to, the, to their communities when they finish this program. Upon completing the program, persons will receive certification from the organization. While this is not an internationally accredited certificate, it is recognized in Guyana. Additionally, the program will soon incorporate more courses such as web developing, programming and graphic designing. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Lizina Yearwood.